Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we had a pretty good storm last night. All the thunder and lightning woke me up at about two o'clock and boy, it roared for a while, but amazingly, we didn't lose power. But we're back to more flooding issues. So this is the creek or the swamp or whatever you want to call it that that uh, runs down the one side of my property. And as you can see, it's about to cross the road. Unfortunately, the township has not done a lot about it because there's pretty much no water coming through here. So that is not a good thing. And if we walk up the road here just a teeny bit to a second culvert they put in, well, the beavers have been doing their job. And here we are. What a mess. And yeah, the other side of the road there is nothing happening here. There is virtually no flow. Huh. Boy, that's disappointing. Well, let's get back on the bike and head back into the bush and have a look at uh, how things are going back on the trail. It's been quite some time since I've been back there uh, being so preoccupied on the house. But let's go have a look, see what we got. Well, we're back at the uh, site of the future campsite. Uh, let's have a walk back to where we put that pipe in the trail. Yeah, things are a little wet. The, uh, all the chips I dumped in here a little while ago have really helped this one section. Yeah, there is definitely water running down here. Well, the pipe is still in place. But there is uh, obviously a lot of washout around it kind of thing. So what I think I need to do is bring a bit of gravel down to finish uh, packing and around this pipe. And I want to get rid of this stupid rock, but it's still a little iffy to bring the tractor in here. So we need to put a little more fill in before I can bring the tractor down. And then this rock and the rock by the pipe will go. Yeah, it's a mess, but boy, the pipe has really been doing a great job carrying a lot of water down to that marsh instead of it all running down the trail. Oh, we got a lot of work down here to do. All right, what I think we're going to do is uh, go back and grab the drone and we're going to uh, fly the drone out over the marshy spot there and see how far back the water goes. Yes, it is wet and muddy. And I need to put a uh, drainage ditch here 
and put kind of a bridge over top of that. But that is, again, another one of those things we'll figure out as we go. All right, let's go get the drone. All right, folks, we've got the drone set up here in front of my ATV. Uh, let's put it up in the air and see what we can see. All right, folks, we got GPS signal, so uh, we should be good to go. Let's put it in the air. Right underneath the uh, telephone line so we've got to be careful of that and then the power line so let's get up above both of those and then we'll get moving That's got us up 26 meters. Let's take it up to 30. All right, let's go see what we can see here. There's lots of water out there. Lots and lots. So you can see here, this marsh just kind of comes to an end here. Yeah, it is wet. Just do a let's just do kind of a turnaround here according to my uh, GPS map we're now not over water and that's that's pretty accurate I can hear it coming but I can't see it yet Let's land it. Landing. Okay. Well, that was interesting. The water level is pretty high and it certainly goes back there a long way. So I think what we're going to do is uh, get some gravel and put it in around that pipe back in the trail 
before it gets washed out completely. So let's get back to the homestead, get the tractor going, and we'll put my small trailer on the back here and we'll start taking some gravel down. I don't want to go down with the big trailer because I think that would just be too heavy of a load and the trailer would sink quite badly. So we'll just use the little trailer here and we'll see how this does getting things filled in around the pipe. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video and if you have, I'd really appreciate the like and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the job. All right, well, let's see how well we uh, can get this back in there. trailer okay I'm not gonna try and back this thing down here if it sinks then uh, I would have an issue with that and it is trying to sink that one rock is just in exactly the wrong spot That's good, we made it. So you can see how uh, much that tire sunk in here. <laughs> well, we'll get some gravel in here and hopefully that will help. We might need to come down with one more load. I'm pretty low on gravel right now. What I need to do is put some more rocks in here along the side of the stream to, to help stop it from washing out and to allow me to fill it more. Let's play around with this one rock here just a little bit. The ground is just so full of roots. It's very difficult to, uh, to break it up. And that's also what helps bind this stuff to the ground. I don't really know how big this is. Well, it is showing signs of moving. Oh, yeah. We might yet be able to do something with it.
Yeah, of course, it's huge. Uh, if I can just get it to roll out of the way. Well, Luke, what would you do? <laughs> Luke from Orange is My New Green has got lots of experience with moving rocks around. Boy, it's, uh, it's close to being able to move it. And I, I just can't get the tractor down in here, especially right now, it's just too muddy. got something I can use to block it up here. Let's see what I can find. I don't know, this might be too rotten to do what I want. This might be a waste of time, but we'll see what we can do. We're close. <laughs> Come on, baby. Got it. Now, I just need to fill this hole in. Yeah. All right, folks. That is just hugely better. Now I've got room to get over to the side. And I don't have that stupid giant rock there in the way. All right, that's going to do the trick for now. Whew. All right, I will have to bring 
more down, but at the time, we're good. Okay, before we uh, call it quits here completely, I'm soaking wet already. Let's do a walk up along our uh, creek that we made here and up to this uh, basin that usually floods up here, the Colosseum, and we'll see what kind of shape it's in after all this rain. Oh yeah. We're good. Yeah, well that's great. Well that uh, trench we dug, or uh, creek that we created here, or dug out I should say, because it did once exist, it's, uh, it's not a fabulous job. Despite all that rain, this is empty. Yeah, there's hardly even a puddle up here. Excellent stuff. All that work is definitely paying off. Well, all right, folks. So just a quick update here on the uh, Road to Nowhere Trail and our uh, flooding issues, which we are clearly making progress on. I'm quite pleased to see the Colosseum after all that rain uh, last night, empty. There's no water up there, where normally that would have been well over ankle deep. So that's working really well. We got that big rock out of the way, so it's now easier to get down and over top of the pipe that uh, goes across the trail. And the campsite doesn't look too bad. As I think for now, we are going to leave the board and batten siding and get back to trail work. And that may include starting work on our off-grid cabin, which is gonna sit back in the corner here. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you found it interesting or maybe a little bit entertaining. And if you did, please give it a like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. We are slowly growing, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much to all the new subscribers, and a really big thank you to the regulars who still comment on all my videos, even the ones that don't do that well. Your support is really appreciated, folks. Okay, so remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Yeah, there's only a couple of puddles there.